I want to access the internet, but I do not want the cookies, the browsing history, the site data, etc., to be saved. In that case, I use the incognito mode. Apart from this, if, if I want to perform some tests on my browser and I do not want the cache data to interfere with my tests, in that case as well, we use the incognito mode. In order to access the incognito mode in your Google Chrome browser, you can straight away go to these three dots on the top right corner, click on these three vertical dots, and then go ahead and click on new incognito window. Once you click on that, I'm in the incognito window. That means I'm in the incognito mode. Now I can go ahead and browse the internet or you know perform the test I wanted to perform. Now let's say I want to perform 100 tests, 200 tests, or 300 or more, whatever. Now I'm not going to go ahead and click on these three dots, these three vertical dots again and again. What I do in that case is create an incognito shortcut. Now let's see how we can do that. Now we need to navigate to the installation folder of Google Chrome. So we double click on C, and then we double click on Program Files, and then we go to Google, it's right here and then Chrome, and then application, and then we see Chrome.exe right here, right? Right-click on Chrome.exe, and then go ahead and send it to the desktop. So you can say send to, and then mention desktop right here. Select desktop, and that's it. Now we're gonna go ahead and make the changes on the desktop shortcut that we got for this Chrome.exe. All right, so here we are in the desktop. I just renamed it to Incognito Google Chrome. You can name it whatever you want. Right click on it and then click on properties. Once you click on properties, you'll find that you are under the shortcut tab. What you need to do is make a change right here in the target section, uh, add a space right here, and then mention hyphen hyphen incognito. That's it. Go ahead and click on apply that you should see here. Right? For me, I've already done it, so, you know. And then go ahead and click on OK. That's it. 